Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Living a Letter. If you are someone who is new to my channel, I'm Adil Chaudhary. I'm living in Ireland for the past four years. I came to Ireland for my master's study and now I'm working as a software engineer. So I've been living here for more than four years and I create videos on life in Ireland in general and study in Ireland and various four things which you should consider when you are moving to Ireland. So if you're new to my channel, go hit the subscribe button. Tell me on Instagram, you would know I have traveled to India for two months and that's why this Indian outfit and today is my Shivratri. So wish you guys all a very happy Shivratri and this video will be released tomorrow. At least again before the time, let's hop on to the videos. But if you have confusion about the difference between college and universities in Ireland and I have divided this video into two parts where I'll discuss about the difference between colleges and universities and in the second part I'll discuss about the reasons if you choose college what's going to happen and what would be the advantages and disadvantages for choosing a college in Ireland. So stay tuned until the end of this video and don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and share it with your friends. Majority of people move to Ireland for their further studies, whether it's bachelor's or master's degree. If you are thinking why to choose Ireland and what makes it so different from other countries, put see a link on the top of the video which I created about why you should choose Ireland. So make sure you check out that video. Ireland is known for great quality education system. So when you are planning to make a big step of moving abroad for your studies, it is important to understand the differences between university, college and institute of technology, which is IOT. However, if you move to Ireland, there is no major difference between all these three. Firstly, let's understand the Ireland education system that will help you to understand the differences between these two major universities and college. Each course that runs in Ireland in various institutions is registered under NFQ which is National Framework of Qualification. So third level qualification starts from level 6 to level 10 in the National Framework of Qualification and, and I use the short form which is NSQ. So the framework is a system of 10 levels which allows national and international students to pick up the courses based on their eligibility and qualifications. So let's understand what these levels are. Level 6 qualification usually take 2 years to complete and that is a stepping stone for your further studies. Like for example in India you choose class 11th and 12th based on that you choose colleges. So level 6 is equal to the same. And further level 7 is an equivalent to bachelor's degree. So if you are moving to Ireland and you choose level 7 that is called as bachelor's degree a lot of people have confusion whenever you choose bachelor's or master's degree in each college or institute they mention all these levels next comes is level 8 that is honors bachelor's degree which is ba bsc and it comes for somewhere around sometimes four years level 9 is postgraduate diploma which is master's degree level 10 is doctorate degree so that's the education system in Ireland. So what's your eligibility once you come to the country for bachelor's or master's studies and what's your post-study eligibility? So if a non-EU student come to Ireland, so guys, you have still stick the video this far. I'm sure you have plans to move to Ireland for your study or if you know somebody who is moving for their work, the first thing that comes to their mind is their finances and how do you open a bank account? This new newly built Irish bank application called Money Chart. They offer free online platform to open your Irish bank account. You don't have to visit bank and wait for a long time to open a bank account. You can just open your bank account in just three easy steps. Download the application, sign up with your personal details, upload your identity card. The team will be able to verify your app within just few minutes. And I have been using this app for a long time and I have had great time to manage my finances. They have different options to create categories for your daily expenses like Wi-Fi bills, electricity bills, daily bin bills and it helps me to make, it helps me to keep track of all my expenses and take a special category for my space savings. So if you are someone is planning to move to R and not, not sure how to open a bank account, go check out the link in the description and download the application called Money Chart. And I have also newly introduced a foreign exchange services. And if you are someone who is international in Ireland and wants to send back money back from their home country to their parents, their family, anybody, I think this is one of the best applications I have come across and they have minimum transaction fee. I have been using this app to send money back in India. 
and they currently support five countries and I could transfer money here for free. So what are you waiting for? If you are moving, just go download this application and enjoy this free banking trip I just gave you. For level 8 degree, they may be permitted to remain in Ireland for 12 months. If somebody is moving to Ireland on level 8 scheme, which is master degree, will be allowed to stay in the country for 24 months. For the third level graduate scheme, but it states like it allows you to find employment in the country within the given time span. And you can apply for a journal permit employment or critical skill employment, which allows you to stay legally in Ireland for more than two years after you complete your studies. Or about the residency and critical skill work permit, there is a link to the video in the description that explains all the stamps and various visas you get once you're in Ireland. Firstly, let's talk about what is university. Practically speaking, universities exclusively deal with level 8, level 9 and level 10 courses. All these universities account for almost 75% of course courses that are being offered in Ireland. All these universities, they award their own degrees and other awards. So, once you receive your degree certificate, your degree affiliation will be from these universities. Universities in Ireland are state funded, but they are generally autonomous. There are seven universities in Ireland. These are the top universities in Ireland. UCC, UCD, NUI, Galway, Maynooth, Limerick, DCU, RCSI and DCD. That concludes what universities are in Ireland. Moving on, what is IOT? Institution of technology. Uh, so universities deals with 8 to 10, IOT deals with 6 and 7 as well. Technological universities which is also termed as TUs, they make their own degree awards. They also grant degree diplomas and certificates. So the awards which are given by these IOTs are verified by QQI which is quality and qualification of Ireland. So there have been an act which was introduced in 2018, this Technological University Act. This act allows universities to apply and qualify for education institution. This helps them to apply to become a new type of higher education institution with technological university status. EUs and ITs provide programs of education and training in areas such as Bains Engineering, Logistic, Music to Certificate, Diploma, Degree Levels at five technological universities in Ireland. So basically, all these institutions are technically related to uh, one university if you choose any of these which I have specified previously. And there are two institutions of technology in Ireland which is Institute of Art, Design and Technology which is IADD and the second one is DKIT which is Doig Institute of Technology. That concludes what IOT or TU are. So basically they are affiliated with various other universities. They get their degree awards from those universities. So moving on, talking about the most crucial point which is what are colleges in Ireland. So guys, if you need help in deciding which college or universities you should be choosing or which country you need to go to abroad and you are having a lot of confusion in deciding all these things, you can reach out to my counselor who has genuinely helped me to move abroad, specifically to Ireland. I had so many confusions about Canada or Ireland. He was able to clarify all my doubts. You can definitely reach out to him with no doubt and have a clarity about study abroad and he will be able to help you with the visa process. Certainly, Ireland has received a lot of visa rejections so I request you all to make sure to help with your finances and if you still need help with the guide for study abroad, you can definitely reach out to my course. The link is again here in the description below. Fill out the form and I'll be able to connect with him. If you move to Ireland for study with my calls, I'll be able to schedule a quick call with you to help you with the process and prepare you once you're moving to Ireland, how to find part-time jobs and what other things you need to consider once you're moving here. And talk to my calls for your create visa guidance. So the private colleges, they make up their awards either through foreign universities or then their, their degrees are affiliated or validated by QQI. So various fee-paying independent colleges such as Griffith College, Dublin Business School, National College of Ireland and IT Cardo, all these fall under this category. This was the major foundational difference between universities and colleges. So to conclude, it's just the award of the degree they have been affiliating to will be the difference. But do you think that 
would affect sub that would affect any average student decision whether they should choose university or college choosing the right course should be the top priority for a student with universities you get a better experience as compared to college and you would have a better experience in terms of campus life you would not see in college if you guys have any doubt in choosing college or universities you have received offers from any college or universities or want to talk or discuss about life in Ireland job scenarios job availabilities I know all these decisions are really tough for you to not have expenses to move abroad for studies and want to come directly for job. You can schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with me. But for some average student who has less budget, who has average marks, who could not afford universities, what difference it would make if they choose college? And if the university and the college has the same course structure, would that make them more sense to choose university or college or not? So now moving on to the second part of the video, talking about what happens if you choose college and not university. And I'll also talk about if you are eligible for both university and college, which one you should go for, what different it will make for your long-term career goals in terms of your job. 